What is good, Grey Gang? We are out here today. We are doing the pawn shop sh gun hunting challenge. I don't exactly know what this is, but we kind of already did it. So basically, I had went to a pawn shop and picked up two weapons here. We're going to check them out right here in a second. They're both really cool. I think you guys will like both of them. One of them is going to be used for hunting, which is, you know, later in this video. Now, the thing about these two guns is that they're both actually extremely, like, greatly priced. I don't, I kind of forgot the prices, but I know they were good enough to buy. Here is the first one. We'll pull it out. It's kind of a different kind of gun. Not exactly your traditional hunter. Okay. Get that real nice shot. It's Abram with the camera. Show us what you got. Hit us with a hit us with a montage. But yeah, you may be looking at this and be like, Daryl, that's a that's a British Lee Enfield 303, right? No, it's not, Karen. This is an Ish Ishpur. It's an Indian Lee Enfield, and it's actually chambered in 308. So it was made in India in 1968. Now that's kind of weird because in 1968 there was a whole lot better guns around, and India decided to go cheap mode and build a stinking bolt action, like literally. Nice little piece of history. This gun fought Pakistan. I got it for $350. Now I don't know how much y'all follow them. That's a pretty good deal. And this is a pretty slick gun. All right, I'm just going to send them down range. I might hit them. I might not. I'll try to hit just in case. It don't really kick that bad at all. Just, just remember, some Indian guy shot at Pakistanis with that. You do have to uh, put one in there. Oh. There we go. Now that one right there that we just shot, I bought it because, hey, it's got some good historical value. This next one, I know nothing about, but I bought it simply because what I thought it could serve me as a hunting gun. It is a shotgun. It is a Remington, so I know that it's a halfway decent brand. The stock is not wore down. It's not scratched to pieces. That lets me know it's probably not shot to death. Got these really cool designs, and it's a Remington Sportsman Model 58. But whenever I saw it, I was like, hey, that's a 12-gauge short-barreled shotgun because it's like 18 inches long. It's got a weird poly choke. If you don't know what a poly choke is, you twist this, and it changes the choke immediately it's kind of sketchy they quit making them for probably for a reason and i got this one for only 275 all right that ain't good it jammed this shell never came out this shell never came out of the magazine oh it never ejected no wonder it's cheap did that one eject it didn't eject no if it doesn't eject then no wonder it was so cheap it ain't kicking them back that ain't good dude and don't worry, we are shooting safely downrange into a giant mud mountain. But yeah, it's not ejecting, and that is a little bit of a problem. Ah, it's kind of sad. I'm still gonna take it hunting, but I'm gonna try to shoot that pine cone. It worked, but it, it kind of fed a little bit better, but it didn't exactly get that now the water way, and it didn't get the next one up in there. Almost. I guess since this is a kind of a finicky shotgun, I just need to shoot higher quality, maybe high brass shells. If not, then I kind of just lost $275, but yeah, now we're just going to go hunting with it. And I am going to try to find some better shells. Welcome back, guys. We are out here. We have the we have the pawn shop shotgun, and we're going to try it a little bit at rabbit hunting. As y'all saw in the last clip, we used it with some of the cheaper, like, skeet shells, and it didn't really like to function that well. I tested it out with some decent quality squirrel shells, and it functioned good, so that's a good sign. Maybe I just can't use the cheap shells that I've used my entire life. But yeah, yeah, we're out here using some rabbit dogs. We got a few of them in here rabbit hunting. If you don't know, the premise of rabbit hunting is you come into thick places like this, which is where rabbits live. You throw the dogs in. They chase the rabbits around. You think about where the rabbits and the dogs are heading. You get out in front of them and you shoot them whenever they cross the road. Now, not all rabbit hunting spots are created equally. And that's what happened to the first spot, which I didn't video. It was a big old thick field. And we went there, great rabbit hunting spot. Not a good rabbit killing spot because there were no shooting lanes. That's just a little overview of rabbit hunting. As for shot selection, size shot, like shotgun shot, that's seven and a half, eight. Don't really matter. As long as you hit the rabbit, you're doing pretty good. That's the main reason I bought this gun is because it's short and if a rabbit's running real close, I can still swing this gun around and hit him. So yeah, we're just going to wait here. Whenever something starts barking, I'll pick y'all back up and I'll tell you what's actually happened. Our dogs did not run the rabbit. 
They just decided to kill a rabbit. I did tell that one dog to go ahead and go kill a rabbit. Probably shouldn't have said that. Um, it's not a small one either. Good job, dog, I guess. There's one. Let's go go for number two. We still got the legs. Well, maybe not. Yeah, that's a good point. It's probably sick. It's probably been shot before, honestly. <laughs> Get him? Huh? Okay, cool. Kinda. You got him or? He's still. He's still going. Uh, no. Put one in or two. Yeah. Still alive or you got him? And so, yeah, guys, that's how rabbit hunting goes. The dogs run a rabbit around, and whenever you see the rabbit, you shoot it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, boys, here's the plan. We got a field over there. I got about 150 crows over there squatted up in that field. And I can tell you right now, son, we about, we about to go put a on them. I don't know, guys. Like, with the shotgun so far, we haven't killed anything. I've literally shot it twice. But check this out. Oh, hey, Parker, how you doing? Okay, bye. Y'all really can't see them, but there's black dots right over there field is thinking covered with crows so that is exactly what we're going for since crows have incredible my goodness can these people like just stop can you stop driving i'm trying to make a video <laughs> anyway since i can see really good you got to be camoed head to toe basically like a turkey i'm going to be wearing this it's one of the kg hoodies it's not camo but it is green and honestly that work camo pants need camo hat and camo gloves and camo face mask now since crows are pretty smart one of the very nice tactics is have some decoys so i got three of them here that someone actually sent in fa fan mail a couple years ago and then i have a single mouth crow call now usually i use like an electronic fox pro type call but i forgot to bring it so this is all i got The access to this location is not very good at all. Basically what I just had to come through is a briar thicket with a few trees fell down on it. But the good thing is that the trees actually gave me access to this spot by walking on the trees, which is kind of sketchy, but you know what? We're on, we're at the field now. Oh my goodness, what in the, where am I? There's not a chance that the crows don't know I'm here. I don't know guys, I, th I think we can make it work. I think we can definitely make it work. Gotta give a real big shout out to uh, KendallGrayWarn.com slash shop first link description. If it wasn't for that company, Man, I, I just wouldn't be who I was today. First link in the description. KendallGray1.com slash shop. But yeah, dude, their backpacks are stinking sick. Now, I've only got three crow decoys. I don't think that'll be a problem because I only have one call. I think I may be able to fool these crows into thinking that I just was a rabbit and maybe disappeared or something. I think that if I can just be still, be quiet, I think they'll forget because, I mean... There's so many crows in this field. How are they supposed to know what's going on? How are they supposed to know who, who's real and who's not? So far, had a lot. Of, we've seen a lot of crows, but there's maybe only been a couple that's got low enough to shoot. And with those, I just didn't have a shot. I definitely got their attention. Definitely got them interested. I don't know. We just didn't get a shot on them. I'm gonna keep trying some more, and maybe we'll get some closer. And if not, we may walk the edge of this field because they they have been engaging in a massive pigeon crow war. So if we can kill a pigeon, I'll do that too. I'm not really that picky. way or another we are going to shoot this gun at something the entire video the entire video is based around this shotgun right here and i have yet to shoot it at an actual animal i don't know if y'all can see them but that's exactly what i'm after right there if they come over fly right over me i may get one pigeons are an invasive species so they're in season all around no stinking way dude i just got one <laughs> Baby. I just got a pigeon. 
I just used all my shells too, so let me go back over here to my backpack, get some more, because dude, there's pigeons everywhere. Fun fact, the only reason we actually have a crow season is because crows are like Mexico's national bird, and they made a deal with us to where we had to have a season. Hey, I'm just as happy to kill one of those things as I am an actual crow. I don't know if, if they didn't see me because I am kind of camoed up. They just, they just kept flying right over me. Let's go, baby. Round number two. Let's go. There's some more pigeons. There's some more pigeons up there on that power line, but this right here is what they're after. Whenever the uh, corn harvester or whatever comes by, it doesn't pick up all the corn and they're just down here trying to get some. Now one crazy thing to consider about what I'm doing right now is that pigeons and doves, they kind of look the same, but they're not the same because one is native, one's not. Therefore, one is illegal. The doves are out of season, which are those right there. They're a little bit smaller, but the pigeons, which are bigger, they're in season. So I can kill as many of those as I can whenever I want, however I want. There's some pigeons. Here's some pigeons. All right, guys, we got pigeons right over here. We're going to have to do some kind of cool spot and stock. If I can get low and slow, it's probably my best option. Or if this one right here wants to come over top, I can take him. Perfect. He's dead. Nice. Had a little failure to eject right there. guys we're about to find out how pigeon tastes i feel like i cooked it okay fried pigeon sounds all right i mean it looked like it was good meat so y'all saw the pan i was grilling it in i cooked bacon in it earlier so that should help it out a little bit um it's cooked what you think cost cats is that that done on that on There's a slight game taste to it. We're gonna add ketchup to the subject matter, okay? Pretty basic, it's, it's the number one meat taste enhancer in the world. We'll see how it does with pigeon. Whenever I went out there hunting the other day, I did not expect to walk out of that field with food. Mm, what does it taste like? Hmm. Believe it or not, it's really close to a deer really close to a deer but it's a very tender deer but it's also a very tender deer which wasn't prepared correctly hmm these are the breasts so they can't be that bad i like it i like it it's good it's good but not great yeah that's the video see you later boys